how could this be? How could I not know about this? How could this be something that's going to threaten me so badly and I've never heard of it? The nastiest of the invasive ants with the greatest impact on Hawaii is the little fire ant. A guy came in to 200, 300 bites. They crawl up our legs, they're on our couches, in our beds, in my dresser. The little fire ant is native to South America. Moved by human travel and commerce, the ants have spread to many islands in the Pacific with devastating impacts. In 1999, little fire ants were discovered in Puna on the Big Island. By 2011, they had spread to Kona and are now established in many sites. In 1999, they were found in Kalihivai on Kauai. And in 2009, a small infestation was confirmed in Waihe'e, Maui. Unless we stop their spread, little fire ants will form massive super colonies on each island, changing Hawaii forever. For an arboreal species, for a species that like to live in trees, they're not actually very good at hanging on. We got rained upon by, you know, all of these fire ants. We didn't know what it was, but it was very, very painful. <laughs> the sting's actually very small, and a lot of people don't notice that it's an insect that stung them. What they end up with is a, a few minutes after being stung, they end up with a rash. What is this rash? Intensely itchy, painful rash. They were so itchy, they were so, so itchy. And I mean, even a day or two after I got bit, they were still itchy. The next level of concern is infection. That's what we are dealing with at the clinic. I had to let all the parents know we have this problem. They're all over in the schools. Prior to the, the very recent treatment of this school, they're in my classroom. People are being stung in their homes, at work, and in parks. Public land and wild places may be abandoned to the ants. Hunting, hiking, and even beach trips will not be the same. The ants have already infested parks in the Hilo area. We know this because it's around our tower, huh? It falls off the trees too sometimes. It falls onto the beach patrons and they, they come up. Something's burning their neck and... Yeah, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. Everywhere, there's not one, not one spot with yeah. the one If you didn't treat, we'd have no like, no income. And trying to find a way to, to get rid of it. Uh, uh, <laughs> Genial, mm. ouais. lot, lot of food is really nice. A lot of food. Hein? Paradise. Yeah. Paradise. But they, they don't give up. How long has the land in this area been part of the family? Des générations, générations. Gener generations. How can you get stung? Every day. When the wind is really strong, don't come outside. Don't come out when the wind is strong. A lot of, uh, a lot of people have abandoned their land already. Her cousin abandoned his land up there. They abandoned their land. They left. They don't want to live here anymore. They gave up. So Tahiti is the, the most uh, populated uh, island in, in French Polynesia with the uh, tallest peaks and mountains. So it has the, the richest uh, biodiversity in French Polynesia. If some colonies are accidentally moved to those higher elevation areas, it will be, uh, it will be an ecological uh, disaster. Like Tahiti, Hawaii is an evolutionary showcase. Little fire ants have the ability to transform and decimate native places and species. In some infested areas of New Caledonia, little fire ants now dominate, making up more than 90% of insects, with impacts cascading throughout entire ecosystems. Forest birds and ground-nesting seabirds are at risk, along with sea turtle hatchlings. Even the smallest creatures, bugs, beetles, and spiders are vulnerable. Every single animal we have, we have three cats and two dogs, and every single one of them has a clouded, have a clouded cornea. At start, she was uh, loving to go in the bush. Now she stay home. She is blind. My glasses had dropped to the ground, and when I picked them up and put them on, I got bit on the eye. And it was so severe, I had to like run to the house and put 
ice on my eye, I had to lay down. And the thought came that I wonder if this is the fire ant. Uh, the bee industry is important wherever you are. All our hives have uh, succumbed to LFA. The larval stage of the bees are very susceptible. If you have LFA and they're close to your hive, and they can get up and into that hive, they'll probably take your hive down. Farming is woven into Hawaii's history and is key to a sustainable future. Both local and export agriculture and our hopes for food security are at risk because of a little fire ant. I watched them as they were shaking all these ants off of them and basically it was raining ants, raining fire ants on them from the lychee. We'd be in very big trouble if it came into our coffee lands. Harvesting anything from a tree is going to be very, very, very difficult. And it will greatly impact agriculture. I mean, it, agriculture as we know it will not be here. So invasive species uh, and the little fire ant in, in particular are, are very problematic because they will inhibit agricultural expansion. When you look at our mandate, it is to protect the native biota, it's to protect the public health. We're so dependent on imported food that we can't let our stores or our restaurants go empty. Whether or not they're pests on them, we're forced to get them out. We still get a sampling of interceptions. We're already considered a high-risk pathway uh, for the spreading of pests to the continental U.S. The presence of little fire ant in these nursery shipments, it's heightened the concern that it will cause a California embargo. California has gotten very, very restrictive in terms of what we can export from Hawaii to, the, to their uh, markets. So they're, you know, they're really kind of on the verge of closing us down. They find out that they cannot export their crop or, or sell it at all. I think they'll be very concerned. Wearing my hat as the chair of the Board of Agriculture, I see little fire ant as being a very significant threat. We need to address this quickly.